Hey all, this is Joseph 3D Sorcerer. Welcome to the channel. Uh, today I want to show you how to take your 3D prints from kind of the standard smooth side finish of a 3D printed part to something that looks more like one of these. You can see that it has some detail in it, a little repeating pattern, and gives a little bit of a texture. And just bring the other one in real quick just to compare them. And to me, I feel like the ones that have the texture pattern in it look a little more refined, a little more, I guess, finished in a way. So that's just my personal opinion and thought that I would share with y'all how I did it. So let's get started. So the idea to try this design came from this Google Keynote presentation. You can see this accent wall behind them where it has the slots like what we're trying to do. And I thought that this looked pretty interesting. It gave a nice texture to the wall and made kind of a feeling of depth that you have when you see them, especially close up like we see here. Thought it was an interesting background. Thought I would try it in 3D printing on a much smaller scale, obviously. So hopefully this video will teach you how to do that. So let's just jump into Fusion 360 and get started. All right, so now we're in Fusion 360. This is the body that I made. I'm not gonna go through how I made this, but just briefly, I made a slot here in the center and then made five circles and then extruded that. So fairly straightforward. It is important to have a, a border that's curved. You don't really want sharp corners because this method won't work as well uh, with those types of shapes. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is create a sketch on this top face there. And we're actually gonna make the sketch over here on the side. And you can see it does the midpoint or triangle indicator there saying we're in the midpoint. And now our diameter, I usually do one to two. So for this one, I'm just gonna do one and then make sure it's fully constrained and click finish sketch. So now let's see that our sketch is over here. And now you have a decision to make. You can either cut away the pattern or you can build the pattern uh, either one works but uh, i personally believe that the cutaway looks a little better so that's one option you can see that it's making that little groove or if you click join you make the little protrusion so either one works uh, i'll actually show you all both of them at the end but i'm going to just do the cut one for this example but the technique is essentially the same all right, so now we have that one little cut out there. So now we want to create a pattern and we want to do pattern on path. And we're just going to use this path, which is the perimeter of the shape to pattern this feature. So object type should be feature because it's an extrusion. And then our object is this. And then our path is here. And so sometimes you can see that it doesn't exactly pick up what we want it to. So you do want to change your orientation to path direction. And then you also want to do compute type and try identical sometimes to have to kind of play with it. As you can see here, our path for whatever reason is not right. So let's try and play around with it some more. Sometimes the path feature is a little difficult to work with just in general. Okay, so now you can see after I've reselected the path, it's picking up how we want it to. And so my computer's relatively fast, but it does struggle a little bit with more complex things. So what I personally do on these patterns is to just do a quarter at a time. And that helps for two different reasons. One, it doesn't work your computer as hard. And two, it's easier to get these symmetric. Sometimes if you do it all the way around, the last point here doesn't really line up and you have to do some math and try to figure out the spacing. So I feel like it's just easier to do it this way. And then if you drag it, you can see he around here, there's a point that shows up. And that's actually, you know, a midpoint, which is what we want. But if you'll notice, it attaches to the outside of our circle. So there's the dot and you'll see it snaps to the perimeter. So what we need to do here is the distance is what it's calculating as far as the path length. You can see that it snaps there to that distance, but we need to add the radius of the circle to get it centered. So you can see there now it's perfectly centered on that dot. And then compute type, we already changed it to adjust to get it to pick up the path right. And then we just need to change the quantity. So for my version, I used 30. You can see the preview there, but you can really do as many as you want or as many as your computer will calculate. So 30 is a reasonable number. And then we can just see you know, how it turns out. So there's our first pattern. And now we're just gonna mirror it across this plane and then mirror it the other way. So it is important to start your sketch on the origin if possible, or you can construct mid planes and mirror across those. So now we're just gonna go ahead and mirror that pattern. 
our Rondo features again. Object is gonna be that pattern that we just did. And then the mirror plane is gonna be, you can do either one really, but just gonna mirror it across first. Let's see if optimize works. So that looks pretty good. And now we're gonna mirror both of them across the other way. So just do another mirror. And then our objects are actually all three of these because if you skip that one, it doesn't put the extrusion here on the end. So it's gonna take it a second to calculate that. And sometimes it doesn't give you the preview, so you can go ahead and click okay and see if it works. All right, so there we go. So now we have that pattern. You can see if you look at it from the top, it's nice and symmetrical. Everything looks like it's pretty evenly spaced. There's no weird irregularities here in the middle where we had that midpoint issue with the radius. So I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, I actually added just a small feature here where I just cut out a little circle just to add a little more detail. But that's really all that I did for this. And uh, I'll show you the other one here in just a second. But you know, if you zoom in, this usually prints pretty good overall. Uh, it does have a sharp angle, so you could, if you wanted to, go around and fillet all these and smooth that off. But in general, I think it looks pretty good and just how it is. And you can play around with the radius, the spacing, all that, just based on what you like. But I think that this looks pretty good. So now I'll jump over to the other one and show you all what it looks like if you extrude it the other way. All right, so here's the alternative version. You can see that we extruded it out and it's a pretty similar effect, but it's just kind of opposite as I mentioned. And this one actually has two millimeter uh, diameter holes. So a little bit different as far as the design, but I think that personally I like the other one better, but that's kind of just personal preference. Now I'll show you all what they look like side by side. All right, so here are the three different versions. This one's the simple one. This is the cutout and this is the add little bump there. And uh, personally, like I said, I like this one the most, but I think that they all look decent. Uh, this one looks a little bit not quite as nice just because you don't get this nice line every time with 3D printing. Uh, you get the layer lines as everyone knows, but this kind of distracts you from the layer lines in a way. So that's part of why I like it is it's just a nice little detail texture to the side that uh, makes it look a little more premium. So I'll print those off and show you all the differences. So here's the final version. As you can see, this one here on the left side of the screen is the protruding version. Uh, this is kind of jagged, but it is pretty interesting. And then the one that I like is the one where you cut away. So that's the one here in the middle and it's more subtle and a little smoother just cause it's the little cutout. And then this is the one that is just the standard version. So be interested to see which ones y'all like. So comment down the comment section, your favorite one. And that's about it for this video. So appreciate you watching again. And if you like more of this type of content, please be sure to subscribe and see you in the next one. Thank you.